you're on. Hey guys, I'm <clears throat> glad you joined us tonight. So uh, tonight we're making some uh, scallops with uh, some a warm cob. Uh, it's a corn salad. Corn salad. And so uh, <laughs> no cob about no it. No cob to it. So we'll go ahead and get started tonight. Um, glad you guys joined. Um, hold on, one just a second. I guess it might be. Okay, your mom's on. She said she was ready for it. Okay, so we've got that together. I have pre-washed the the uh, the bell peppers. So we've got uh, the green bell pepper, and uh, like I said, I, I was going to get a red one, but we had this uh, what's called an aloha pepper, which is kind of nice. It's a hybrid between an orange and a red, and they're very very sweet. So if your Kroger sells them. Uh, I'd advise you to pick some up because they're really, really good. So that's one thing that we're going to do with that tonight. So we'll go ahead and get started with the peppers first. So uh, the pepper, what, what I like to do is go ahead and take off the, uh, the stem here. All right. That makes that bottom flat. And so that way it'll just sit there for us. All right. We're going to come in with our knives. We're going to start at the bottom and we're going to work our way around. All right. So that way we can leave all the seeds inside and not get any of those seeds all all on a cutting board and make a big mess. But we're still getting the, the flesh of the plant. So as you see, all the seeds are still left there. I had one that came out on me. But for the majority of the time, we have all of our seeds right there. And so we can just put that in the trash. And so now we've got our, our pepper here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dice that up. So we've been standing here in the kitchen watching these storms come in. It's really getting dark out there. So hopefully we don't lose electricity. find out tonight that this uh, this dinner actually doesn't take all that long to cook um, this the actual prep work is the the biggest part of it it's just trying to get everything diced up so that we can get it warmed up and cooked and then the scallops only take about maybe 15 20 minutes to cook if that yeah if that yeah, if that yeah paper plate so we can leave that on get that off our cutting board so we can do our green one all right now again we've got the stem here so we're just going to take that stem right off so we got a flat surface come on the bottom cut around Just like that. <clears throat> I know a lot of people probably tend to stay away from scallops because they're so afraid of, of cooking them wrong. But really, scallops are a very easy thing to prepare and cook. So uh, I actually learned by going through uh, Chrissy Teigen and seeing how she did it. Um, she uses a little bit of butter with hers. Um, I found out and, and I find that just using oil whenever you cook scallops off, it seems like they, they do a little bit better. Somebody making a comment? My mom is saying she's watching and so is your mom. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so we have parental support. Hopefully everybody out there has seen that I have started a YouTube channel. 
and I'm uploading these videos to the YouTube channel. It's called Come Cook with Joe. And uh, I have put a link on the last update that I had. And uh, that way, if you miss a show or a segment and want to go back and rewatch something, then you can do that without having to look all the way through my, my Facebook feed. I mean, I know you can save the video, but this will just put it all in one spot so that you can watch the videos anytime you need to. <clears throat> Plus, it's a little fun for me, too. Is Dad even home yet, Mom? <laughs> Now we've got the lung work out of the way. So what we're gonna do, wash my hands off that. <clears throat> All right, now we'll go ahead and take our butter. I'm just using probably about maybe two, two tablespoons. I'm gonna turn on this back side. Sorry, I tripped over my dog, because he's a vulture. So again, just about two tablespoons would be all we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and while that's melting, I'm gonna get my can opener out and I'm going to open this can of corn. I don't want everybody to see my messy kitchen table. Just like that. We're gonna drain this. down a little bit. I'm just moving the butter in a little bit, not a little bit more. The bottom covered and we'll throw that core right in on top of it. Okay. And we've got our peppers. Throw them in here. Lots of different colors. Now for the green. They're asking how high is your heat on your... Oh, I've got it probably about, you can step around and see, it's probably up or towards the, the high side. Um, we're just really gonna saute these a little bit just to get them soft and warm it up. Um, so anywhere between medium, medium high will be, will be, be fine. <clears throat> Stir that around, get the butter on everything. See how pretty that looks. All right. If that helps or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we will get our scallops together. I've had them sitting in this bowl of cool water in this bag to thaw out. And we purchased them frozen. So I've got a paper plate here with a paper towel on it. So it's really important that you get your, your scallops dry. So I'm just gonna set those over here on this paper plate and napkin. <clears throat> and scallops have the two sides. And so try to make one of the flat sides down if you can, because that will actually be what's making contact in the frying pan. Now this is just one way you can cook scallops. Obviously we're frying them tonight. You can bake them also. So, like I said, what we're gonna do tonight is just use a little bit of oil. Oops, little guy left in there. All righty. Okay. Now I'm going to take this other paper towel, I'm just going to come right in here and lay it right on top and soak up as much water and juices from those scallops as possible. Then I will turn on, I'm going to use a three zone, and I will turn it on about medium heat. My veggies another stir. I'm 
I'm going to come back in here with my olive oil. You can use olive oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil you want. All we're going to do really is just get enough in there to cover the pan. Oops. We're going to let that get hot. <clears throat> Veggies are still cooking. Starting to sizzle. They're almost starting to come up out of them, which is smelling really good. for a nice coating on this pan. All right, now I've got a nice coating on the pan. So now what we can do is we can take our scallops, since they're dried, we're gonna go ahead and take those and just place them right on the pan. Try to go in a clockwise pattern so that way I'll remember which ones to flip first. Start on my second layer. Just like that. Now your paper plate with the paper towel you can throw away because we won't be needing that anymore. And the paper towel from up top you can throw that away too. But what I am going to ask you to do is get another paper towel. Because what we're going to do is once these get done cooking, we're going to blat them real fast with that paper towel to make sure that the top's dry before we flip those. So. We've got some easy um, seasonings. We've got salt and pepper. So I'm just going to come over here and sort of hit the vegetables with salt and pepper. This is a restaurant grind, so it comes out of my holes pretty slow, so I have to give it a quite a big shake. And then some salt. Now, with the scallops, we're going to make, it, um, make sure that they cook, and once they cook, they'll start turning opaque, which is basically turning white from that pink fleshy color. And uh, once they get about halfway opaque up, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll dry the top and black the top, and we'll salt and pepper them, and then we'll flip them over, and then we'll wait for the other side to turn opaque, and then they're done. And then it's just time to, to, to plate. So uh, ask you guys maybe to have some paprika. If you do, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. It's just going to be for the plating purposes. So uh, just give a little bit of color splash on that plating. Now with these vegetables, if they're starting to look tender, what you can do with that is go ahead and turn that heat down. I don't know how fast you guys were cooking yours, but I'm going to turn mine down to almost a low. We've got a little bit of uh, sizzling going on with our uh, scallops there, which they're starting to cook really good now. One thing those scallops are doing on the one side is getting that nice caramelization and crust, if you will. So this was the first one I put down, so don't see that yet. Like I said, they're starting to cook pretty good. So if anybody has a request out there for another recipe for us to work on, just let me know. I'll be thinking about some things myself. Are you doing that salad next week? Are you doing that salad next week? Yes. So uh, Kim just reminded me next week we're going to be doing a shrimp curry salad with, uh, um, with uh, curried shrimp. And then the dressing on it is an avocado lime dressing.
Belinda, that's the uh, dressing that you said you could just drink by the gallon. So that, that was an all-time favorite whenever we had some friends over for uh, that evening. So we'll bring that one back out. Need to trim it here just a little bit more. It's starting to rain over here. Now we're starting to get a little bit of caramelization on the bottom there. Starting to turn opaque. Belinda's so excited because she's cooking scallops for the first time. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> and you're going to rock at it, too. You are. You're going to do great. Like I said, they, uh, a lot of people are scared to cook them just because, you know, it's, it's, they, they're very delicate. Um, but cooking them, though, isn't that bad. So it's, it's real, real easy. So... You can cook the scallops in butter, Darlene. Uh, Joe just prefers olive oil. Um, he tried it with butter one time and it, it didn't work. It didn't come out as nice as the oil typically does. Christy Tegan, what she'll do is she'll get the oil in the, the frying pan and get the oil hot. Then she'll throw the butter in on top of it, maybe a tablespoon, and then sort of melt that in together. And then she'll place the scallops in um, before the turn. And uh, it's, uh, like I said, I just, I found that the, the caramelization on the scallops without the butter tend to do a little bit better, and so that's why I sort of stay away from the butter. Plus, it's a little bit healthier too, if you're more health conscious. I know Paula Dean probably uses butter hers. <laughs> that's Paula Dean's middle name. Yeah. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the paper towel, set it right on top, Sort of blot the, the water off and the oil that's splattered. Take my salt and pepper, just come in here and salt and pepper the top of them. And salt back in. Salt the top. Now again, I'm going to start turning these in the order that I put them in. So see, we've got some nice caramelization there. I'm just going to take these and turn them right over. Some are a little bit more done than the others, just the way that hot spots are on the oven, or the stove top. Now, since we've got those turned over, we can season the other side. So I'm just going to come back in here with the salt and pepper on this second side. Since so we turn them, just like that. Boom. Get a get a cream one so you can see the peppers there.
and it's coming down here. <laughs> Alright, now since we hit that turn, these are almost ready to come off. So we've got that little bit of caramelization on the other side. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and plate it. So, I've got my vegetables here. So I'm just going to make a bed here of the vegetables. Just like that. Scallops. And place them. Like that. I'm going to take my paprika and get a pinch. Just drizzle that over the top. And there you have it. Sea scallops with warm corn. corn bedding. And that's just as easy as it gets. So I hope you guys cooked along. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I definitely hope you have a great dinner. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys next Thursday. All right. So stay safe. Uh, be kind to each other. And we'll see you soon. Thanks.